guys everything tech time here so i know i haven't made a video in such a long time i believe it's been like a month i think which is crazy long and i need to upload a video the reason for that is because i never really got the time i was always trying to do homework do you know stuff like that i mean in the summer i could upload a lot because you know i didn't have any school but yeah i mean i got a lot of school homework stuff like that but i'm i need to apologize since I haven't uploaded a video in such a long time. So here's my video today. I'm gonna show you how to use your laptop as a display for video game consoles with AV cables like these. So I'm gonna use the Wii because the Wii has AV cables. You can use Xbox, PSP, other stuff like that. Just make sure that uh, the input is AV and not HDMI or whatever else he uses. So all you're gonna need for this is uh, obviously the console, the cables, and a laptop to display it on. But the only thing you have to buy is this thing. It's a capture card, it's an easy cap. It costs around like five, 10 bucks. This one costs like 13 bucks. Pretty simple capture card, buy it off of Amazon. And what it is is basically it's a USB and then AV cables break off of it like that. So and then what you want to do is you're going to want to take the AV cables from your console and plug them into the easy cap. So there we go. We got all the cables plugged in. We got the Wii cables plugged into the easy cap. Now basically instead of having AV cables, we have a USB port, so you take this USB and you plug it into the computer. So, I'll see you back on the computer. Okay, so as you can see, I just plugged the easy cap into my laptop. The green light popped up. Now, what you want to do is once you plug it in, you're probably going to want to wait about 5-10 minutes to install the driver. But, um, <clears throat> all you're going to need to do, it's actually really simple. You're going to need to download... Uh, D. I don't know if it's D but or D but that video capture. Of course, I'll have the link in the description so you guys don't have to be confused. But basically, you download that, you open it up, you make sure everything's turned on. Now, if everything works right, your console's turned on, you go to device, you click on it. And boom, you got your your console. There we go. You got it running. And you can actually interact with it and stuff. Just your normal Wii. Mine's soft modded because soft modding's awesome. So, yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. You can, like, literally grab a sensor bar, put it next to your laptop, use it with your Wii. Like, do stuff like that. It's actually really cool. But, yeah, as always... I will try to upload more videos in the future, maybe at least once a week. I will try to do that. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.